in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so world of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise or tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. And now with the Ladies official introduction, here is, is Bruce Buck. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, the Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, misses with the jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Again, they will clinch. Huge block there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he 
is also keeping very busy. Single collar tie now. That uppercut will work. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the knee coming to the body is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, big kick lands flush. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body kick. Just misses with the right hook. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets a single follow tie. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are. Oh! Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. Straight right. That one landed clean. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Cut the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Leads with the right hand. That'll work. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Got a single collar tie. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. If you I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Yeah. 
And he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, big punch land. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked on the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Look at that leg. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this Whoa! fight goes on. into half guard, the guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, takes the far side underhook, look for damage from the top to come now. Oh, really nice work to keep Dizzy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good punch. Again, they clinch. All right, boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 30 seconds to go in the round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Looking for a guillotine. A guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that.
ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ball collar tie. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch land over the top. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Massive kick to the body lands flush. Big elbow! That shot is blocked by Lid. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Nice. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice high kick. Big elbow there. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact oh. one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Nice head kick. Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.